Good morning, life path number seven. So already while I was doing some meditation on this pile, uh, with the thumbnail there, you could either be attracted to the numbers, the colors, uh, you could be a life path number seven. This is for all signs. Um, my readings are all um, non-sex specific. And um, if you're guided to it, then there's probably a message for you in here. So this is for the month of June. This is just going to be your general and your blessings. Then we're going to do a little fun thing with some charms. But while I was meditating on your um, reading here, the number seven. So, and with the camels and then moving forward, it's like you may have felt like you've been on some long kind of journey. Um, walk from walking away from something. Um, Spirit wants you to really know not to look back, okay? Not to look back. I feel like you're healing from some kind of situation here where it could be a workplace or family situation. I was really picking up on like family members or even walking away from a significant other. Okay, so your first card out. I just wanted to get a little bit of the energy before I started here and you've got Aphrodite, so two. So there's been a lot of, um, I feel, awakenings going on for you, a lot of realizations, a lot of self-love. Oh my goodness, they're even showing me the swan here. Two swans in the back. So either you have um, come into yourself or you've actually balanced your feminine and masculine energies, or this is like you coming out now. You may have detached yourself from uh, some limiting relationships in your past whether that's friends family members co-workers or uh, romantic love which i am picking up mostly up here on love because we got freya here so radical acceptance and the goddess uh norse goddess of war here and she's also got the eights so strength you've really had to find the strength in yourself to help you move forward here i feel like you yeah with those camels and just going through the desert there it's been a long hard fight for you but you fought for yourself and you went within and I feel like you have developed or you're turning into this beautiful swan not saying that I'm not saying that you uh, like you know I was they're just bringing up the ugly duckling story where it's like you're growing into your wings you're growing into yourself you're growing into your new gifts I'm feeling so much purity and freedom I'm seeing uh, this beautiful swan spreading her wings, okay? And it's just like so much expansion coming to you here in June. I feel like you're really having to walk away from some kind of family situation. And um, it's actually bringing, brought you and given you a lot of peace. So there's also, you know, the romantic love coming up here and the radical acceptance. I just want to check out what's underneath here. And healing, yes. So also healing from a relationship, a romantic relationship. Maybe going out with some friends. Okay, you could be, yeah, going out with some friends. Um, connecting with people from work. Watching some funny movies. Getting in some laughter. I feel like you have really, really been through it. And you are healing from this situation. Some of you we could have even went to go get some Reiki. I'm also seeing this with the number nine is the sun. So things being really illuminated to you. Uh, seeing that snake there. There definitely could have been a snake in the grass for you. And you are finally letting go. Finally walking away. Setting your boundaries. And I feel like you are heavily armed here. So that's why Spirit is saying to not look back, okay? Now, at this point... Hold on here. Okay, at this point, humor in between and wise leadership. So you could have, you know, some children, actually, or even if you're in a some kind of a workplace situation, that you have, like, people under you. But I feel like your children are going to be... A big part of this or your friends your family members the people that are around you so we have our 3d family and then we also have our 5d family right our angels and our guides so your angels and your guides are rejoicing with you as you go through this huge change like this feels deep to me this feels like you have uh, really been through like a dark night of the soul I feel like you are just now emerging Okay, and they're showing me this ruin here. So let's check out which ruin that is. 
separation. Okay, so you could have even, you know, been in separation from somebody, actually, okay? While you guys were doing this healing. Having to find the humor in a situation. So, let's get some tarot. Go a little bit deeper here. Spirit for our life path number seven. All signs in the month of June. Angels, ascended masters, archangels, spirit, spirit guides. I'll take them. So we got the chariot. Then we've got nine of pentacles. Page of wands. Set this off the side a little bit there. Oh my moly. King of cups, the lovers, and two of emotions. Wow. Okay. Life path number seven. I feel like you are actually going to be, okay, so a seven, two, like spirituality. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, we have the five of cups. So, spirit is really coming in here to tell you that that situation that you are leaving behind, not to look back, okay? Yeah, that's this, that they're, that's what they were showing me, and I was feeling that, um, like, you know how they always say spilt milk, right? So in the original five of cups, it's like three cups behind the person that they're looking at, but they're not looking at the cups that are full. So right now, maybe you are still releasing the past. You still, I feel like some little bit of bitterness, some little bit of an icy heart, okay? I mean, I don't blame you. You have really been put through the ringer here. Releasing a lot of stuff. And I mean, she's holding on to that full moon. So we just had that full moon in Sagittarius on June 3rd. And there's something could have been activated or completed. The cycle could have been completed around that time. And like, look at all these greens and pinks here. Like you have put in so much work, you know, with this King of Cups here. If it's not you that is embodying this complete like emotional balance. And look, there's actually even two people here standing back to back. Balancing your divine feminine and masculine. I also see this little boat down here, which I've never seen before. Moving in the right direction. Like, so starfish as well. And I do believe star, starfish is asexual. So maybe some of you are asexual. Um, that's just for, you know, maybe one person. That could be confirmation that this is for you. But it's just like, okay getting a little excited here <laughs> oh my goodness look the chariot is also a seven and it's freedom with the horses okay they're guiding me to read out of my book here for horse so i've got uh pocket guide to spirit animals by dr stephen farmer let's find horse so wrong way here we go so you're about to embark on an unexpected adventure that will have you're about to embark on an unexpected adventure, and it will have you move very quickly once it's initiated. It's time to free yourself from those physical and emotional constricting, constricting aspects of your life. You need to call upon reserves of stamina and strength to get you through this ordeal. You are much more powerful than you think you are, which is also what I was picking up with the camels when I was uh, doing some meditation before your reading. So this situation requires strong warrior energy. Balance with sensitivity, patience, and compassion. Teamwork with your family, friends, or community is important right now. Okay, so that is also coming up too. So maybe you're working on some kind of project. Moving forward with, on some kind of passion project that you love. The Nine of Materials. Yeah, you could be walking away and starting your own business here. Especially with the Page of, uh, page of Wands as well. Really following what you love, following your intuition. You've really mastered this. So once, you know, you have worked so hard to move away from some other kind of situation here. Look at her. She's doing her yoga. She's stretching. You've been preparing. You've been balancing your chakras. You've been going out in nature, um, connecting with spirit there. And look, it's like God, the angels are sending you these gifts down and you're feeling so independent. You're moving on. Your solar plexus chakra activating and you're getting that power and that freedom back in you. Wow. You have got the fight back in you. And you know what? That is a trap. You are in your divine feminine energy. If you are not yet in the month of June, you are going to be getting there because with this king, 
of cups. It's like the highest denomination of uh, emotional, like emotional balance and uh, stability here. But it's like your intuition is off the charts. Um, you're nurturing, you're, you're looking out for others, and spirit is looking out for you. Now there's two people here, the lovers, with the two of cups. So definitely, also for others of you, right? It's like this new blossoming love situation. Meeting a new soulmate. If you haven't met them already, they are coming in and they are so gentle. Yes, gentle and flowing. They are in touch with their emotions. Now, uh, this could be like a past life, a past life uh, situation here. Someone that you haven't met yet. Maybe they haven't talked to you yet. They're still a little bit distant, but maybe you guys have like met at work or... Uh, Met in passing, met met through some friends. It's like by you releasing yourself here and having acceptance of change, you're healing a huge karmic cycle. Whoever this is coming in is really going to help you laugh. Like, you're going to be enjoying yourself. This is going to be a beautiful time for you. And look at that. It's like when I... It's, the Ace of Wands. This person is super attracted to you. Wow. Okay. Something, like you know, and if it's uh, not a romantic sense, even though it does say romantic love here, because you could just be healing from a romantic love to heal, to go on and do some kind of entrepreneurial venture here. With some, with soul, a soulmate of some kind, okay? So what else do we got here, Spirit? For the month of June, we got the Knight of Knight of Cups. Oh wow, there's an offer definitely coming in for you here in the month of June. Month of June, wow. Like if you got a secret admirer. Okay. And on the bottom of the deck here, Ten of Wands. Okay. You are releasing. All that no longer serves you. It's like going uphill with, with water, fighting the current. No longer. Yeah, putting down those burdens. This person, I'm seeing like this ox here too. Or this person that you could be a Taurus, they could be a Taurus. But I see like feel like some luck coming in for you now. Wow, okay, so we've got the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Four of Pentacles. Somebody's coming in here to express their love for you. How much they've been thinking about you, how much they can't stop thinking about you. Holy shit, you guys, look, there's a camel in this card. So, okay, maybe, okay, what I'm picking up on right now is that maybe somebody from your past or somebody that you're in separation with, okay, who was emotionally dry, so that desert, right? Uh, what are they, what's, what do I, emotionally unavailable, okay, um, has been watching you. So maybe you know this person. Maybe they have recently seen the change in you, but they've also been going through their change as well. So this is, could also be a divine partnership or a twin flame relationship, especially with the soulmate and the lovers here we've got. But they're seeing how you moved on with yourself, how you put yourself first, how you took action in your own life. And you actually have activated yourself to be this empress, this divine, like, you are so attractive to this person. They could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. They're just embodying that lovely energy and they really want to create something with you with that shell behind. They're just seeing that divine femininity in you. Wow. You coming into your power, being charismatic, being a leader. You creating your own universe here. 
And if it's not somebody coming back, it's like you are attracting this divine counterpart, this secret admirer. They're getting ready. They're getting prepared to talk to you. Life path number seven. There could be, I've just seen this two of swords here. So they're, they're making a decision. They're making a choice. Even you could be, you know, finishing up the last little bit of the cycle here. Yeah, as that, okay, so we had that full moon, right? Now we're going to be, we're closing it down. We're closing down that cycle to our next new moon. So I feel like, here, let me just check. I'm just going to double check on when that is. Okay, so that new moon is actually on the 18th, on Father's Day. Uh, I don't know, that's in Canada here. I'm not sure if it's the same for you guys. But on the 18th, so that could be a significant day when you've really closed on a cycle. And you're going to either hear back from somebody who's done a lot of healing. Or you are going to be actually like, I feel like somebody's going to be taking you out, of, out on a date or something, talking to you. Yeah, maybe you met this person through work, but they're very inspired through you and your leadership. And like some of you could have colored hair. Uh, some of you could like express yourself. Uh, your energy is just so, it's like this energy, right? This, this vibrant beautiful energy that is attracting people and yeah and with the in between underneath that so you're just about ready to move on to, to this next cycle but just finishing up the last little uh ties here so i'm just going to clear the board here and then we're going to get into your blessings okay Moon blessing for life path number seven what is coming in for them wow We've got wisdom, this mermaid card. Some of you may really connect with the ocean. You could live around the ocean. I'm picking up on even on Australia vibes. Really like mermaids. Um, you could actually even resonate with uh, Lemuria, like a star seed. Um, yeah, definitely star seeds I'm picking up on here. But it's as you've submerged yourself into like your subconscious, into like you went deep. I feel like you've had a dark night of your soul here. I've actually never even got this card before when I use this, and I've had this deck for quite a while. So all those blues, I feel your throat chakra is even activating. All this wisdom that you've learned through this huge healing journey, you are ready now to actually start activating it and using it in your daily life. Um, you could even be like some kind of healer, speech, uh, motivational speaker. Um, you could even like tell your story. I feel like, yeah, you. whatever you learn through this, you're going to be helping other people with. Now, if in some form, okay? Now, I'm seeing this starfish as well, and I had mentioned that earlier. So, there maybe there's something with starfish, I guess. Yeah, I'll look it up. Let's see here. Spirit saying, so... There we go. Keep your senses open to the new opportunities that are about to appear and trust your intuition about which are the right ones to take advantage of. In spite of what others say, do things the way that you want to, even if it's unusual or different from how most people would do them. There's no need to hurry, so take your time getting where you want to go. In spite of recent losses, trust that you'll recover fully and start anew. Someone in your circle of friends or family is in need of compassionate understanding. Meditate on the on, on the felt connection and or sorry, meditate on the felt connection to all that is and place on earth and in the cosmos. So like as above and so below, really getting out in nature. If you can get to a water body, that would be amazing. You know, some of you could be star seeds. If you don't know what that is, uh. Maybe look it up. There's different, lot, tons of stuff on YouTube about star seeds. Basically, it means that you've had other reincarnations that weren't here on the planet Earth. So you're like an old soul or um, elevated soul. Lots of us are empaths, empaths and healers. Um, so let's see what else is coming out for June. A lot of... Yes, a lot of clearing your energy with the water, wisdom, learning so much from what you've been through. And it's like going with the flow. You're like, okay, the roughest part of my journey is over now. And I'm actually able to...
Take things slow. Take things slow. Wow, look at this. Life is going to be getting so much easier for you, my friend. <sighs> That's just the energy I feel. It's just so relaxing. It's like you are so unmoved or going to be unmoved in the rest of this month of June here. Submersing yourself, relaxing, going with the flow, even going on vacation. Getting around some waterfalls or even if you have like a little fountain feature in your backyard. Uh, loving sitting out with the birds I'm feeling. And again, that solar plexus chakra really activating after a long time of you doing so much self-care. I feel like the abundance is now finally rolling in for you. Your heart chakra is completely open. Like you have done so much work on your heart chakra. You have done so much work like immersing yourself in your emotions and actually not running away from them. Facing your fears. You, and you know, I feel a lot of you, you did this on your own without not much support. I feel there could be some counselors or support, but with this feather here too, I'm feeling support from your ancestors, from your angels, okay? To help you find the clarity. They've been giving you signs and synchronicities all this time to help you follow your path. And I feel like now it's like you're finally out the other side. You're finally out the other side. You've got everything that you need. You're so abundant. There's like, I feel like there's going to be some kind of like miracle, something you don't see coming, okay? And even like the simplicity in your life now that you've left whatever kind of trying or daunting situation that was no longer positively serving you. You put yourself first. And it's like now the, bliss the blessings are trickling in. This is like the beginning of it all, Spirit is saying. They want you to watch out for your feathers, okay? They're really, really with you. Oh my goodness, look at that. What did I say with the freedom? <sighs> so, you're escaping from all these people that were holding you back, all the situations that were holding you back. And if, not that, if that's not the case, then you're coming through this brand new arc, this brand new doorway. And you are coming, this is all your ancestors and your angels rejoicing with you. You're very unique. You're actually even going to be uh, leading. You could be leading some kind of, yeah, leadership role here. Some kind of mentor. Meeting your soul tribe. Look at that. Wheel of fortune and the star. Karmic cycles completely being healed. Letting things go. You're the lucky dice there. Like, oh. Luck is on your side. Luck is coming in. And you know what? You have made this luck. You didn't sit around. I mean, you could have in the beginning. And that is a normal human emotion to be upset, right? Look at this. Six of swords. Moving forward. Moving on. Leaving the storm behind. Some of you could actually even like have a connection with birds I'm feeling here. Crows. Okay. This one. So where you are moving back and forth, right, that's where they're saying don't look back, okay? Keep moving forward. Spirit is coming to bring in the karma that you are well deserved. And the two sixes as well, okay? Something is being birthed here. Either a new, you're coming out of the desert. Something is being birthed. There's water, okay? Like they're showing me, there's all the components for life where you're going now. It's like where something was barren, you're now pulling up on the beach here. It's going to be, it's going to be like, I mean, it sure doesn't look like it right now. Things might be a little bit confusing. Make sure you're getting your salt baths or around those bodies of water, okay? And uh, cleansing your energy, salt water. And like I said, or even going on YouTube and listening to like water features online, okay? Simplicity, simple, simplifying your life. Cutting out any... Uh, any extras that are no longer needed, 
okay? They're saying like chips, candy, food, marijuana, weed. Because look at this. Page of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and Queen of Cups. Somebody definitely has been noticing you, seeing you for your beautiful uh, intuitive gifts, for your feminine beauty. You could be a water sign, but it, that doesn't, uh, not necessarily so. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Some kind of new venture that you want to be starting. Now, this could be some kind of collaboration. Or somebody wants to collaborate with you. They're seeing the beauty in you. What else about this? It could be a new book that you're writing. Okay, and you're deciding. Or maybe you actually even have a lot of options here, I'm getting. And then, yeah, okay, now we've got the Four of Cups and the Seven of Cups. So confusion. Maybe still, like, in this healing phase where you're feeling a little blocked off or you're feeling unsatisfied, you're wanting to move forward. Maybe the energies just aren't there yet. Okay. Spirit is saying, yeah, to simplify your life, there is a definite need to just get those last little things so that that your your aura is very clear so you are able to move forward here definitely something with the cleansing in the water as well what else spirit yeah the star and judgment having all those chakras balanced you becoming the star you realizing how much you are actually worth Healing, or he, well, healing and hearing the call here. A lot of you letting a lot of, a lot of you having to decide to let your past lives go or your past life go. Sorry about that. And to move to something really, really rather unknown. It's like a very brand new idea. Maybe a brand new idea, a create, ah, a creative project that you're taking off the ground. Okay. Maybe they're, you're doing this yourself. Maybe you're starting your own business. So this is where the Spirit is asking you in the month of June to really, you know, oh, there's more birds here too. Maybe sitting outside, writing down all your, your planning, writing your intentions down into a book, getting organized. Because there's karma being cleared here. Like there's a death and a rebirth after all this healing from whatever, from this situation. Yeah, you're choosing to move forward. You're choosing to end this cycle. The oh, queen of wands. Oh, there's your little idea or your big idea, your passionate idea. You're finally birthing it. Somebody, yeah, somebody may have their eye on you. Somebody might, might want to help you out or this is just spirit. Coming to be like, yes, queen, you did it. Black cats could be a thing for you. Or this could be another uh, co-worker, somebody coming in. Oh, wow, look at that. Next, we have the sun. So this idea that you have, okay, this book that you want to take off the ground, this creative idea, this creative project, maybe you're even doing something online with your children. Okay, we do have some macrame here. Maybe you're creating, maybe you're crocheting, um, doing something with your hands. You could be an Aquarius, uh, trendsetter, I'm feeling. You know, maybe this is a very unique idea that nobody else has even done before. Especially like the Star, Judgment, Queen of Wands, and the Sun. Something very unique. And maybe that's what's kind of been holding you back too, is perfectionism. There are some things here that you had to really go through in this last little bit to gain the wisdom because something is being birthed here from your throat chakra. Like you are ready to sing it. And with this, ready to walk away. So you actually even could be walking away from some kind of family business. Yeah. I feel like you're walking walking away from something that is uh, not lucrative for you, not 
um, what's that word, fulfilling for you anymore. Uh, you could even be walking away from like just a family if it's not like a business situation. And you're healing from this. And it's like some of you may have felt like you're going to be all alone. There's definitely, you know, some kids. Maybe you even had to, uh, for the, be the betterment of your children, that you've had to go solo, okay? They've had to go somewhere else. Hmm. Yeah, so maybe you're even, yeah, walking away from some kind of old business thing, walking to a new one, switching careers even. I want to get a little bit more on this. Mm. No, let's talk about that. Look at this one. A little bit more on this here, spirit. On this career or idea. Oh, this card wanted to come out. <laughs> Nine of Cups. Wishes fulfilled. Like, okay, you're like the queen bee here. You could even be getting like awards or um, some kind of recognition for your idea. Okay. Definitely being acknowledged. For your uniqueness, holy shit, ten of cups. This new family situation, it's like your family, whatever this idea is too, is going to be completely set. You moving forward from, wow, nine of cups, ten of cups, and it's like a progression. And you got the sun as well. Um, new family life even, okay? You could be starting something new. Walking away from an old family into something new. The Wheel of Fortune. Wow, this reading is just amazing. Okay, the yoga again is coming up, so making sure that you're getting prepared, doing your stretches, doing your self-care. Okay, meditations, nature walks, grounding, watching the food that we're putting in our bodies, drinking lots of water, because water is a conductor of electricity, right? And energy. So helping us cleanse and clear throughout the day. Uh, because we've got the nine of wands here, so the wounded healer, right? But we're at a nine, so you're actually, yeah, nine. So I thought that this is the ten here, but that's the ten of swords. So you're almost at the end here. Just hang in there a little bit longer. Again, I'm seeing like the leaves and stuff around. So maybe even cleaning up your apartment, doing some like extra, you know, maybe even just like cleaning the baseboards or cleaning your bathrooms, doing like, just really doing a big deep time cleanse on yourself because there's definitely some kind of generosity. Yeah, page of cups, either somebody coming in there here to offer new love, um, new friends here, new best friends, or some kind of new lucrative business, some gift being offered, okay? Oh, there's the Ten of Wands, putting down those burdens. Ace of Swords, something brand new. New, like, you are taking things to a new height. Your clarity is being awakened. Making sure that, you know, you're making the right choices, okay? You could even be, like, going back and forth or juggling more than one project. So making sure if you're doing that, you're taking extra, extra care of yourself, because you are becoming this king of pentacles. You just need to have that strength. Meditation is needed for this strong new uh, stability that you are building here, okay? Definitely going to be getting some messages or moving forward. Could even be traveling to some kind of place. Meeting up with some kind of new business. Yeah. New kind of business venture. After being in hermit mode for quite some time, the magician... Yes, so let's uh, get a little bit of information, or sorry, advice from Archangel Michael here. Wow, beautiful reading, life path number seven. Okay, here's number one. Your prayers are being answered. This is a number 42, so another, another six here, lots of sixes. Your prayers are being received by the divine. Answers will come soon, although perhaps in Forbes you didn't expect. So definitely some things that are unexpected that you didn't see coming. The universe wants to surprise you. Archangel Michael is with you through this transformation. That is absolutely sure. Call out to him. Lords of Karma, Archangel Michael. Clear all layers of the aura. Number seven. 
Oh yeah, baby. So 777 confirmation for you. Change is coming. I am here to guide you through this exciting transformation. This is a trans or a time of joyous opportunities. So things, oh my goodness, coming in for you that you were so not ready for, not aware of. You may feel as if you're not ready for it. I don't, uh, I want to say, because you're going to be like, really, is this for me? Because I feel like you've really been through the ringer here. Okay. You've really been on dark night of the soul. You've had to dive deep. You've had to, you've had a lot of nights crying. Okay. Is what I feel. Releasing these outdated, uh, this outdated cycle, this outdated karma. So number 21, open up to your spiritual gifts. Remember that your true spiritual or your true nature is spiritual, not physical. The angels, angels are sending you messages and guiding your soul's growth. So hummingbirds and butterflies could be really significant for you here. Are making sure you're doing some cord cutting. Uh, meditations with archangel michael and the final card here that they're showing me is let it go the situation no longer serves you allow me to serve your energetic connections to to the past so you can embrace the future so remember not looking backwards okay you are you the camel coming out of the desert your vibration is rising this is a time of great spiritual growth for you you are evolving to occupy your higher energetic frequency. Whew. Yes, you definitely are. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to clear this and then we are going to get you some charms and some angel numbers. Okay. So let's see what we got for charms. So these will be little symbols. Anything you could see throughout, throughout the day that will just help you know that you are on the right track, okay? So first we've got the star. We already know you're the star. Wow, the healing that you've done. <sighs> you're going to be noticed. And I also noticed this, this star is like in a wooden pattern. So you, whatever you're going to be doing, this is going to, I'm picking up that this is going to be what you're going to be doing for the rest of your life. This is your passion. This is your solid foundation for your brand new life. And you are the star. You are making it happen. You are creating your own life. And also, a strong foundation for your family. Whether you have one yet or, you know, it could even be like your fur babies and stuff. Oh, look at that. We've got a dragonfly. More transformation. So, bur or hummingbirds, butterflies, and dragonflies. It could be really significant for you. And for um, knowing that you're on the right path. And that you're the significant change that you're going through. Wow tree of life this goes so well with this star you are walking onto your life mission you did it i like almost want to cry <laughs> you did it this is it you're stepping into your purpose life path number seven now we've got the, the spider creation Okay, you are creating your reality. You are connected to source. You are connected. We are all one. You are realizing that. Wow. Oh, there she is, butterfly. You're drying your wings. Your wings are now opening and spreading. You're free. Yes, your wings are dry. You're free. And I'm gonna feel like one more in here. There it is. Oh, I guess it's two more. Oh, shoot. Wow. Okay. Okay. So the anchor. Stability. You're not going to sink no matter what. Okay. I feel like people have tried to drag you down in the past, but every single time you got back up. You fell down nine times. You got back up ten Nothing is holding you back now. You are free to sail. Some of you, yeah, with the ocean. Maybe some of you are sailors. And then this symbol here. Now, I am in the AA program, okay? And this reminds me of the AA symbol. So some of you getting sober, okay, from alcohol 
Uh, you could actually, you know, be in the program. Um, maybe you're getting some kind of milestone here. But sobriety, if it's you getting sober, you're going to be sober now. This is it. So let's get you some angel numbers here. Wow, that's the first time I've got that symbol. I'm in recovery as well. Oops, okay. So 10, 12. I'm seeing. This looks like I'm going to pick this dice up off the floor. 7. And 10, 87. 10, 87 and 10, 12. One, two, three. Yeah, and one or one oh five. One, two, three, one oh five. Oh, I'm also seeing thirty-seven. So and there's another seven there. So that could be significant for you. And I will see you next time.